Hello everybody. So we're going to talk about brewing high gravity beers today. Um, if you haven't noticed so far, my channel is full of shorter videos. I like to make them more concise, clear, and to the point rather than a bunch of fluff around it to just get more uh, watch time for YouTube purposes. I'm just doing this so you can have a clear message, a clear lesson and move on. So high gravity beers. So I've, I've seen people just specify gra high gravity beers as over 1060. I am talking more about over 1080, so that, that helps specify what you're looking for. Um, first, we're going to look for a high gravity yeast. Um, look for more for the cell count there, and for beers that can attenuate past a 10 or you know so percent. Uh, it'll be on the yeast package in the description online, so make sure you look at that first of all. Next, uh, one thing you can do to help uh, is add um, malt extract. So to your all grain beers, especially. So here's why. Over 1080 in your in typical mash tons, and a lot of people use uh, a cooler type mash tun with a uh, filter on the bottom. I have a bazooka filter. There's also the false bottom filters and a um, ball valve. That typical setup doing sparge, fly sparge, um, sparging, as opposed to batch sparging will typically give you a lower efficiency past 10, 80, 80 or 85, somewhere in there is the, uh, is the typical numbers for me at least, and I've seen it with other people. After that, you, you start losing your, your efficiency. So you, you're not going to get the, all the, um, you, you might go down to 55%, 60% in those really big beers. So the way to make up for that is to add malt extract. It's that, it's that easy. Um, Another way to, you know, there's other simple sugars you can add as well. So excuse me while I look at my notes, but like something like corn, uh, corn sugar, uh, table sugar, honey, um, those can help. I would watch how much you do though. Here's why. Uh, some things that can happen afterwards is uh, more dry or increased dryness in the beer. Um, you might lose overall body of the beer as well. Um, you're going to have a, a typical increase of, uh, perceived happiness, or bitterness, sorry, not uh, an increase in actual IBU, but perceived. The difference would be um, just the, the taste in the front. That's probably because the sugars are coming off as bitter, not the actual hop piece itself. Um, and then too much sh simple sugars can actually result in, in poor fermentation. So um, I'd watch out for that as well. Now, when you have those higher... Um, ABV beers, you have the booziness factor. So you have a spicy flavor or like a, a, an aroma that comes out of that with those um, bigger beers as well. Uh, that, that warm alcohol kind of uh, taste, if you, if you will. But, you know, that's, that's probably what you're going for if you're going for that big. And the biggest thing you can do for your high uh, gravity beers is make a yeast starter. Um, highly recommend that. Or if you're just doing the dry packets, like I, I do a lot of times, just do two packets. Uh, that usually does it because one packet will handle up to 1060. And then more than that, two. And I haven't brewed anything big enough for needing three, but I, I can see that it can be necessary. Um, but those are the simple things you can do for high gravity beers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing.